Hi everyone, it's Annalisa and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I want to discuss a little more in depth about balancing the connection when your Divine Masculine comes back in from separation. So if you have been able to magnetize them back in, which is what happens after you detox the energy and you bring all that energy back to yourself, you allow space for your Divine Masculine to come back in. But when they come back in, that is a whole nother huge phase of this journey and can take quite a while to really learn how to manage the energy. And remember, Divine Feminines, you hold the keys to this journey. You are able to begin balancing that energy so you begin aligning with your soul. And as you align with your soul, guess what happens? Your divine masculine comes back in. However, when they do come back in, it is really, really, really key to sip them in very, 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 very slowly. Because if you don't sip them in very slowly, guess what's going to happen again? you're gonna end up in push energy and they're only gonna run again. There's usually two dynamics here in this connection. You're either in a long separation with your Divine Masculine and or you are in a runner chaser dynamic in and out, in and out, and that can be exhausting. So neither one is better than the other, but in, in both of these situations, when they do come back in, it is so, so key to always refocus back on you and take them in very, very slowly. I am really excited to let you know that I am rolling out my new Balance the Energy workshop. It's going to be three days and look out for it. I just don't have a date yet, um, but I will be rolling it out very, very soon. So just look out for it my upcoming videos or shorts and balancing this connection has to be done very very slowly and the key points here is that when they're coming back in it gives you an opportunity to learn how you're managing the energy and even though they might run again it's okay because every time that you're in separation i want you to think of it as a gift as a time for you to just go deeper within yourself and really learn to align a little bit more with your soul because if they are leaving again that means you still have a little bit more work to do and that is perfectly fine it's all part of this journey it's all part of this beautiful journey and i know that if you are early in this journey you might not think it's very beautiful. I didn't think it was very beautiful in the beginning either, especially when you're stuck in a lot of pain and you don't really want anything to do with the spiritual part of this journey because all you can think about is your person. You want them to come back. You're stalking them on social media. You are rereading your text messages, looking at pictures. All of that is push energy. So once you learn how to detox, and then really learning how to balance the energy. It's beautiful because it's all about you. This journey is about you. The less you make it about them, because really there is no them, because he or she, your divine masculine energy, is you. And I know that's so strange. How can they be you when you are you, right? And because you're the same soul frequency, you're the same soul essence, the same soul vibration, same soul signature. So that makes you them and them, are, they are you. So you're one, you're one, you're one energy. And the divine feminine is the spiritual one. So you manage the energy and you come home to yourself. And once you come home to yourself, then that whole runner chaser goes away because then you're in 3D union. And I really do believe that twin flames are meant to be together in this lifetime because you're here to help the vibration of the planet 
And when twin flames are together, you shed even more energy. There's a third energy that is that God energy amongst your original energy, the divine masculine energy, the divine feminine energy, and then that third energy, which is extremely intense and brings a lot of light to the world. So yes, I do believe that union with your partner, your divine masculine is accessible to you, but it doesn't just happen. It takes inner work and there is no time frame because in the multidimensional universe, there is no time. So it's limitless. There is no time frame. So as you do the inner work, divine feminines, you begin to take your divine masculine in very, very slowly when they do come back in. And you do this in a way where you understand that when you are in any many separations, it is a time for you to go deeper and deeper within yourself. And that is a beautiful part of this whole connection because you can gauge your soul alignment by your divine masculine coming back in uh, towards you and making contact with you. And looking at this journey more than just a relationship because it will never be a normal 3D relationship that you've been in the past. This is a divine sacred connection with your divine masculine. It's all about you, the divine feminine, to come back home, to come back to your true self and to open up that heart chakra along, of course, with your other chakras, but open up that heart chakra and embrace the energy of love. And the inner work is not easy at all. This is the hardest journey that you'll ever go through, but it is the most rewarding, magical, energetic connection that you will ever have in this lifetime. Although it is hard, and I know that a lot of divine feminines get really frustrated with their divine masculine because they don't show up the way they should, or they show up and then they leave again. But that is part of what happens uh, in this connection. But you certainly can switch timelines. And once you learn how to balance the energy and bring the focus back to you, it becomes so much easier. The focus is off of the divine masculine and it's on back to you, which is what this journey is about. It's about you. And I will continue to remind you that this journey is about you. So really shifting your energy into an energy of a higher vibration, because if you are still in a 3D lower vibration and you're still in the ego in your mind, your divine masculine cannot meet you fully. Really, when you let go of the mind and the ego that's holding you captive and start releasing the layers of that onion and peeling back the layers of the ego that you find your true self. And yeah, it's a lot of work. It is not easy. But this journey is helping you come back home to yourself, come back home to your authenticity, to really begin shining your light. And remember, this is a soul contract that you agreed to, that you agreed to come back to earth, to be activated by your divine masculine, and to go through this journey on the 3D. So it is a a contract that you and your divine masculine agreed to. And I know you might wonder why in God's creation would you agree to this craziness, right? That you go through and the pain that you have to go through. But it's only the mind that feels the pain. Because when you align with soul, you're in the energy and vibration of love. And you look at the 3D planet through different eyes. It's a different vibration. So things begin to, to really change for you uh, in the 3D. You don't see things the same way because this is your awakening. This is your spiritual awakening. And as you begin to align with your soul and raise your vibration, you also begin to manifest abundance in every form. And that is so beautiful that you can tap into your own gifts and the universe is always there giving back to you as well. So I hope this video was helpful. Again, look out for my uh, new Balance the Energy workshop. It's going to be three days via uh, WhatsApp text messaging. 
it's very similar to the detox the energy workshop that I have been doing as well. So if you need more help now, I do have a website in the hiddenkingdom.com. Sending you all so much love.